morning. Um, I haven't been morning recently, which I feel really bad about. Um, and it's not really in the morning, it's evening. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I just thought I'd show you. This time of year, it is but when I'm new to for Christmas. So it is 4.1 outside. 19.6 inside. 4.1 at that time of year. That is warm. Well, mild. Because um, I got a few Christmases back. We were snowed in. And I had to get back to university in January. Early January. And what happened was I had a car at the time. A little Ford KA. My little Lucy. Which I don't have anymore, but this is a story for another time. I um I had to drive to the main road because we live down roads where the grass grows in the middle of them, and they're quite treacherous. So to get to the main road, my brother went behind me in his car, and my dad went in front in the tractor because I just I was too dangerous for me to go to the main road. I had to drive about five miles an hour because it's never gritted around here. Um, so that was pretty treacherous. And the next time it was snowy, I crashed my car. But, like I said, sorry for another time. This is the last of my chocolate mousse. It's made with dairy-free cream because I'm lactose intolerant, even though I do have lactose pills, which I'll show you in a minute. But this is the last of it. All the cream's gone down to the bottom. But uh, it's not very deep, so there's not a lot left. But this was my Christmas, Christmas pudding of choice. So, yeah. i got to go so I can eat it. It's called to four. I look like I've just woken up. I've been up for about two hours. My cousin's just left. Um, my cousin and my uncle just left. God, this lighting is not my palatal room. Um, I'm just in my um, pyjamas. My camp pyjamas that I got for New Year. Uh, for Christmas. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. And um, in my fluffy coat. And I'm going to now have a shower look a bit more presentable and um i'm gonna play probably some playstation with my brother we played um rummy cup again this morning with my cousin um but um yeah not much to do today i think my mum's going out and planting but look look at the weather right it's just terrible it's all foggy and they're gonna go out planting and like obviously they'll walk the dog they walk the dog in all weathers but it's just awful. I mean, uh, days like this, I just stay inside. But <sighs> each to their own, eh? But yeah, so shower, dress, downstairs. Okay, go. So I just had a shower, really quick five minute shower. Like I don't get particularly dirty or sweaty or anything, so I don't really go outside in this weather. I still think it's you know nice and clean to have a shower every day. Different to my London home, my shower here doesn't work on an immersion boiler. I think that's right. Um, so in London, basically, you turn on the hot tap and the water's hot. Here, we have a tank, and once the hot water tank is empty, then you have to either boost it for like an hour or two and until it gets hot, or um, just wait until the water comes on naturally. Now, because it's like quarter to four, I had a cold shower, and I hate one of my worst things is cold showers. I remember when I was living in London, maybe two, two and a half years ago, our, sh our gas line was dug up for some reason. There was a there was a leak, so we had no hot water to heat the shower. So we had cold showers, and I was like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not. My flatmate's like, oh, it's fine. I was like, no, cold showers are my worst. I hate to be cold. Cold showers are my worst thing. So what I did is I just got a towel and I was working in Soho at the time to so just go into Soho and go to the local swimming pool and just have a shower there. It was so terrible, but, you know. Anyway, but I feel more ready for the day now. And even though I'm not going out and seeing anyone, I like to get dressed. But, um, I mean, sitting in my pyjamas is great, but I don't feel like I've started the day and I've wasted it. So if I get dressed, I feel a bit more like I want to do stuff. So now I'm going to go and do stuff. Only sitting down and playing the PlayStation, but, you know. At least it's something to do. <laughs> so playing Hannaby, it's where you can't look at your cards and everyone else needs to tell you what your cards oh, are. Mine, sorry. Um, so yeah, and you've got to build the fireworks. Why did you tell me that was a four when the three wasn't played yet? Because it's useful for next time. Oh, yeah. I see.
Because because you also have the three. So I was kind of like, well, if I tell you that, and I can tell you it next time we have some and knowledge. You go. Is it my turn? Some knowledge to tell that? What does that have? What do you have, Simon? What do you, you don't know, need to tell me because I can go. What do you What do you know about your cards? This is a a white four. Okay, right. I need to play. Yeah, we went to Cyprus and we played lots of different games, card games mostly, so we didn't take any board games and we didn't have the new board games we had. So what we did is, Mum has a lovely little book. I'll show the book. It's a beautiful little book that my uncle gave her, I think, last Christmas? Beautiful, it's got like a little owl on the front. And in there we write all the points we score, so we play um, the three games we play a whore, or Mum calls it pot washer because she doesn't like it, shithead, but again, mum doesn't like it, so we call it three stack. And then canasta, which we play in teams. I play with mum and dad plays with Rue. We're gonna, I think we're going to play canasta now. I'd prefer to play a different card game. Just waiting for my brother to get back, and then we're going to start playing more games. I think dad's winning three stack at the moment. And we haven't played hall, and we're going to play canasta. I think we're drawing in canasta. Dad and Rue have won once, and mum and I have won once. So, yeah. It's fun, I love playing games. And also, Rue's friend is back tonight, so he might not be around because he always goes out every night. So, we've got to make the most of it while he's still here, eh? So, we're coming to the end of our Christmas cake. This is what my mum makes every year. It's like a fruit cake. We'd bought marzipan. Sometimes she does like marzipan that is um, homemade, but this is bought. To be honest, I prefer the bought just in colour that. We have all these little decorations, a little. Um, pottery trees that my mum made many many years ago I think she made the snowman as well these are just plastic we've lost a few of them and we have a wise man or a shepherd I don't know where his friends are we have this person I don't know what he is not sure about that <laughs> and we have like a cow we need to buy some more decorations really but yeah it's only coming to an end it's a lovely lovely cake but you know Christmas is getting over, isn't it? Oh, and all sparkly stuff. I'm not sure if it shows up very well on here. See sparkly stuff? That's all um, edible glitter, which is really cool. And little edible stars as well. So, yeah. But it's really nice. Cup of tea, push, piece of Christmas cake. Lovely jubbly. We're going to do my ring trick with my brother. Okay. So, what's going to happen is we're going to... I'm going to mind read three things. You're going to write them down, okay? Okay? Uh, okay. So... The first thing I need you to write down is any boy's name you like. Any boy, and I'm going to write down. I'm going to write down one as well. Okay, fold up. Fold up. Fold yeah, fold up. up. Uh, and then, so you can't change your mind. What did you write? Well, no, because you. No, so you have changed your. I wrote down one as well. Yours. Give it to Mark. Don't look at them. Don't look at them yet. Okay, and so you can't change your mind. What did you write down? Ben. Ben. Okay, now I want you to write down a girl's name. Any girl's name you like. What? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, and so what did you write down so you can't change it? Cats. Okay. And now you have to write down a vegetable. Any vegetable you like. Do I tell you what I put? Yeah, what did you put? Cucumber. Okay. That's a fruit, That's Rupert. A vegetable. No, because the seeds are inside. Basically, isn't it? It's free. Alright, I'll give it a rest. <laughs> Cucumbers, it's... This better be bloody good. Yeah, it might be. It might be crap. <laughs> it's going that way. Oh, that's mean. Just because Rupert doesn't know what fruit. Um, Any vegetable, Ray. Let's find, like, one that you can spell. Potato, carrot, sweet, parsnip. Potato? Oh yeah, potato. Strawberry. Potato, strawberry's not a vegetable. The, the food's on the outside. It's not a vegetable though, it's still classed as a fruit. Have you brought strawberry? Yeah. No, Rupert! Oh god. Oh no, a vegetable, the food's on the outside. No, Rupert! Something that grows on the ground. Just mm. pick a veg fruit. Like I said, sweet carrot, parsnip, potato. Turnip. That's about right. Carrot. Okay. Rue <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> eventually also root carrot. Okay.
You wrote... <laughs> that's not his for current room, but that's fine. You wrote cat? No, I didn't write that. No, you did. No, you wrote cat room. I wrote K A. Yeah, but yeah. still, it's still cat. You know, it's basically the same. Cat, cat. And the boy's name? And Ben. But I saw you write down Ben after he said Ben. No, I wrote them down. No, I didn't. I wrote, I wrote carrot first. Carrot was the first one. Because I guessed carrot. But yeah, there you go. Ben, Ben. Pretty good. Are you going to Carrot, carrot. Magician never reveals the secrets, Rue. Do your surprise face. Hey, chaps. I'm um, going to sleep now. Because I'm knackered. I might read for 10 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go to bed. Um, I've got loads of vlogs to upload. I'm sorry I've been really bad lately. I've got quite a few to upload, but I will. I promise to upload them soon, very soon. Uh, so please like and subscribe, and um, I will hopefully see you in a not too long space of time. It's New Year's Eve tomorrow, so happy New Year's Eve. Um, I hope you do something fun or have fun, whatever you're doing. And I will see you soon. Bye.